everyone, this is just a quick video here on the topic of a possible Victoria Toil War. As Warhammer 2 is in development and there is no concrete information on the next historical game yet, the debates and speculation among the fans go on. However, what I wanted to discuss here was the popularity of a hypothetical Total War set in this era. According to a recent poll done on the Total War subreddit, Victoria Total War actually scored the highest in popularity. I was pleasantly surprised by this. The poll only contained the main contenders for the next historical title though. As CA said, the next one would tackle an era they hadn't done yet. So this left out another sequel of medieval, shogun, Rome or empire for example. It left out Mongol as a possible choice too though, as this is also oftentimes considered one of the main contenders. Compared to the other choices, it didn't win by a mile stretch though. It's just a few votes higher than Three Kingdoms and Bronze Age. Pike and Shot score fairly high as well. Which is also another popular gunpowder title, as well as my second preference. On YouTube there also appears to be more interest for a game set in this era. Multiple videos discuss the numerous directions this hypothetical game could go, what is appealing about it, and how it would fit in the series. Among them are Nurik and Phoenix, who made the most viewed video about this. The channel's video got more than a hundred thousand views, and I will include the link to it in the description. Of course, you can also watch my video I made about it too. There are also some other interesting YouTube channels that discuss this, such as Simsy and Sun Tzu. People who understand German can also watch their Cavaliers video. Of all these, I will also provide a link in the description. So, what is it that appeals people to this setting? There are multiple reasons for that. First off, people just like the line battles with muskets. The impact of explosive shells and smoke clouds produced by the gunpowder. Combine this with the colorful uniforms and you have yourself a recipe for epic battles. The influence of technology also plays a major role, as the Victorian era is one big transitional era from traditional warfare to more modern warfare near the end. This will mean that tactics will change over time because of the invention of breech loading rifles for example. The sheer scope is not a factor. Being able to play on a campaign map that would basically contain almost the entire world is very appealing of a thought for fans of strategy indeed. It would mean that the game is not only centered around Europe but without dropping it entirely either. The class of civilizations in colonial endeavors and fighting wars in an asymmetrical manner is interesting as it brings different sorts of tactics to the table. Firing off Gatling guns on savages while your line infantry is struggling for its survival with their bayonets is a mighty sight indeed. Lastly, the general quaint atmosphere of an era that is very close to today yet so unrecognizable and still foreign in other ways. Most people would see the birth of their respective countries, forming Germany, Italy, the United States, just being able to play as your country and play what-if scenarios. This provides the game with lots of replayability, with different factions and either play out history or play a what-if scenario and change the course of history. Trains, factories, photography, ideologies, journalism, are among the many inventions of the 19th century that are just so interesting. Seeing characters with the beards and mustaches on sepia pictures is just a cool little trait that would be present when looking at your generals or ministers in the government tab for example. So that was just my small video about the general popularity for a Victorial Total War. I hope you enjoyed it. What do you like about the Victoria era yourself and what would you like to see in the Victoria Total War? Tell me in the comments. Don't forget to check the links in the description and goodbye.